Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to uh, Kenny's Palace of Collectibles. Um, today, something for the Blu-ray movie fans. Um, this this video came about because um, one, one of my scrub subscribers um, asked me if I was a Harry Potter fan. I said I enjoyed the films. I mentioned that um, I wasn't quite a fan as such, but I had a, a few of the um, the Ultimate Editions, uh, the Blu-ray Collector's Editions. Um, it was it was expressed that, you know, they'd, they'd like to see see them sometime, so um, I said I'd try and fit them on a video somewhere. Well, it occurred to me that I've got a few other um, Collector's Editions um, of, of Blu-ray movies. Now, should mention before anybody writes in and says, "Oh, your collection's rubbish." Um, I don't actively collect Blu-ray collectors' editions. Um, I'm, I'm what I would call a, a passive collector. Um, by that, I mean um, it was a film that I don't dislike, uh, and I see a collectors' edition cheap, I'll pick it up. That's what I do as a collector. But um, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a serious um, collector of, 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 of editions. In fact, some of the of, of collector's editions, in fact, some of these I'm going to show you today, and uh, not even mine. Um, my daughter's very well into Blu ray films and very kindly loaned me um, a few that uh, I can show you in addition to mine. So uh, there you go, that's, uh, that's how we c this came about. So, Michelle. This one's for you, okay? Uh, okay, so we'll start with the Harry Potters. Um, these, these are the, these are the ultimate editions. Now, I've had, um, I've had years one to five of these for quite a while. Um, for some reason, I never bought the pig up year six, um, um, but I know there was a bit of a bit of a hoo-ha in in the uh, Harry Potter community especially in the in in the section of the community that buys blu-rays um because it was announced i believe at some point that um year 7 uh, the, the deathly hallows films wouldn't be coming out over, over here in the UK come out in the, in the states but not over here um and i i went along my way thinking okay there's only there's only six, and uh, I, I, for some reason, I never picked up the sixth one. But recently, I managed to find it um, very, very cheaply in mint condition. So, you know, I thought I had a set, but sadly, um, when when I was in uh, in Kex, CEX, whatever, um, I noticed that they actually had um, the, the the year seven, which is split into two because you know obviously there's two Deathly Hallows films. And they were an eye watering forty five quid. Now, having only paid twelve quid for year six, <laughs> um, needless to say, I didn't pick them up. But um, at least I know now that I don't have the full set. There's another two to get. Anyway, yeah. So these are the um, these are the ultimate editions. They're, they're they're nothing. I mean, for an ultimate edition, you think be something spectacular. They're not. They're not anything too spectacular. But they are. They are nevertheless very nice. I, f I find them so anyway. Um, yeah, basically you have this um, this this outer box um, with a bit of bit of artwork in, inside, and this is this is year one, the Philosopher's Stone, the very first one. Um, now they all they all follow the same template, the same format, um, all the six that I've got. So, but I'll just I'll just show you them very briefly because um, they're all. They're all quite different. Uh, obviously, you know they've, they've got stuff from uh, from the film in question. So that they've all got these very nice. You get a you get a digital copy in every one, by the way. But they're probably out of date by now. But they all have these very nice um, cards. Now these these are very very well produced. You know they're they're on very thick cardboard and and, and the pictures are are absolutely spot on so in uh, in 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 year one you've got harry and um, minerva mcgonagall um they come in a little 
they come in a little box, a separate uh, packet. Um, and then you get, obviously, you get the movie. I like I like these um, I like these foldy out boxes. Although they're going to be hard for me to show you. I'll try and do it without losing all the discs on the floor. Yeah, they come out in these nice um, these nice. I forget that there's there's a there's a term for these kind of boxes, and I can't remember uh, can't remember what it is at the moment. But yeah, basically you get you get the movie. Uh, I think you get the movie on DVD special features. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're just, I told you here, the movie on Blu-ray, movie on DVD, extended version of the movie on DVD, special, fi special features on DVD. So, um, and, and as, far as, as far as I know, they all follow, they all follow that particular uh, format. And then on top of that, you get, um, you get the creating the world of, and uh, obviously these all have art relating to whatever film um, the box set, you know, the box set covers in this case to say the Philosopher's Stone. So, yeah, um, you know, the, it's, it's um, I mean, oh, the prices of these vary wider, wildly on the net. Um, I've seen, you know, I've seen prices of up to 150 quid for some of these, which, you know, it seems a bit, um, seems a bit excessive to me, but if, I don't know how scarce they've become, um, but um, certainly, I mean, these, you know, we come a good bit trying to get them back in the boxes, um, these, I would, I would say I paid, I mean, these are all mint condition, I would say I paid anything from 12 to 15. Um, I don't think I paid more than 15 for any of them. So, you know, I'm quite happy. I mean, that that's the cost of a new, uh, new Blu-ray movie. Um, you, you know, probably lucky to get one for 15 quid these days. But, you know, to have nice sets like that in mint condition for, for just the cost of a, a Blu-ray, I'm, I'm quite happy to, uh, I'm quite happy to pick them up. Um, Chamber of Secrets. I'll just um, I'll just very briefly show you what's what's inside um, while we're while we're at it. As I say, they they all they all follow the same they all follow the same format. Um, I'll just show you the I'll show you the two cards in this one. Um, there we have. Severus Snape and Hagrid. Like I say, these these are very nicely done. Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with with the, with the quality. If, if as I say, they're not they're not the most spectacular um, ultimate editions I've ever seen, but um, the quality is very nice. Um, I, I won't bother folding that out because it's too much of a clock on. But anyway, that's the that's your movies and then creating the characters of the same more more artwork um, so yeah so they they all, they all follow the the same format so there's um, there's nothing different from from set to set but so they they do they do nicely you know slip into that, that little case and then you've got your you've got your outer slip case um, Goes over the top, so that's um, that's year two, and then we come on to Prisoner of Azkaban. Ac Az Azkaban, <laughs> get that right. Um, yeah, I remember seeing the remember seeing the trailer for this. Um, I, I'm a sort of a regular cinema guy. I remember seeing the the trailer for this and thought, oh, that looks good, and then never went to see it at the cinema. Um, don't know why. I should have. I think I've I've seen seen the the rest of them um, at the movies. Um, so Prisoner of Azkaban, as I say, same. That's your that's your movies. Um, I'll just get the 
cards out and show you them. I don't, so I can't remember what cards come with what. Oh uh, yeah, so there's there's Hermione and and Sirius. Like that one. So the, I, I never. I, I don't know if any of you ever bother, but um, I never. I never bother with digital copies. And um, that one's creating the creatures of um, another nice little. These, these these are very well produced. These art books, you know, they're on quality. They're on quality art paper. Um, you, can, you can see there. I might be wrong about these um, these books pertaining to the actual film that they're in with. I, I think they might just cover a, a subject. You know, so that's one creating the creatures. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not an expert on on these things. So maybe they just have a booklet with with a different subject. Okay, Goblet of Fire. That's uh, that's one of my. One of my favourite um, Harry movies. Right, um, right. What have we got with this one? We've got um, that one's um, Sound of Music. So yeah, it does look as if as if the the books just um, have a different subject matter rather than rather than relate to the actual the actual movie. But um, yeah, they are. They are they are quality um, items that you get in here at least for your money. I don't know how much they were originally, but as I say, twelve to fifteen is all uh, all they've cost me. That's the movies. And then we'll have a quick look and see what cards we have here. So I'll run and ah, uh, one of my favourite characters, Mad Eye Moody. I love that bloke. <laughs> He's absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. Oh, I was sad. Oh, spoiler here. I was sad when he got killed later on. But never mind. I'm sure. I'm sure of you Harry Potter fans out there will uh, have seen seen the movie to which I relate. Right. So that's number four. Right now we've got um, Order of the Phoenix. Year five. There we go. There's the. There's the box, there's the, the inner box that contains all the goodies. Um, here we are with the, with the four discs. Uh, this time we have Creating the World of Harry Potter Evolution. Um, and the two cards, surprise, surprise, are Luna. And um, the one everybody loves to hate, Dolores Umbridge. Aggravating character if ever I saw one, but uh, there you go, you've got to have a got to have somebody that annoys you. you. I wouldn't say she was a she was one of the villains of the piece, but she's certainly uh, very annoying. Right, so there we have Number five, and then finally we come to the, the Half Blood Prince, which uh, I quite enjoyed also. That's the outer box. That's uh, the inner box. And the usual stuff inside. There's the movies. Um, there's your creating the magical effects of. Peek at a couple of the pages. All good stuff. And the final two cards. Well, I'll have to get the other two because I can't be missing. I can't be missing four of the cards. Are oh, here yeah, another aggravating person, Draco, and good old Dumbledore, Professor Dumbledore. I like Richard Harris in the. Um, in, in the first few films, but um, Michael Gambon did a did a fairly good takeover, so no complaints. And that was um, that was number six. As I say, I will 
I will be seeking out um, the two Deathly Hallows box sets, but um, I ain't paying 45 quid for them, so maybe we'll have to wait for those. Right, now, um, just moving on. Oh dear, that's obviously been on the top of a shelf somewhere because that's covered in dust. Never mind, <laughs> one, of the, one of the downsides of collecting dust everywhere. Um, that's the Terminator Salvation film. That was the that was the one I didn't like. Um, I've enjoyed all the Arnie films, but um, no, for some reason I uh, I couldn't get away with that one. But what you have in here is um, some adverts by the look of it, and then. Um, Terminate the head. And somewhere in here is the game disc. Sorry, the <laughs> game disc, the movie. Uh, that there was a game for it, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, that was um, that was that that was the director's cut of the movie, by the way, and um, that was some sort of limited edition they did with the with the Terminator head. Um, I've got a. I've got a couple more to show you um, in that vein coming up. Um, so these you can you can find these quite cheaply. I mean that was only about a five or something stupid. I'm quite happy with that for the price. Um, yeah, I particularly like these ones. Um, unlike a lot of. Um, moviegoers are quite enjoyed the Transformers films uh, speci uh, specifically uh, new teeth specifically um, the, 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 the last one the last night I thought was great and the one before that I uh, saw that in 3D as well I mean the last night I saw in, in, in the IMAX brilliant um, I, know, I know Transformers is not everybody's cup of tea but um, the, 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 was it the what was last night the fourth film um, anyway, the one the one before that, I always get confused with the subtitles of these Transformers films. Um, I saw that in 3D. That was one of the earliest films I saw um, in 3D, and I was very, very impressed with that one. But um, anyway, yeah, they brought out these um, these little jobbies. They're very, very similar to, to the last one I showed you. That's, um, that's Revenge of the Fallen. And what you get inside is... Um, Is a digital, digital copy of the disc, and then you get, you get a little um, f figure. Or what would you call it? I don't know. A little model of Bumblebee. I think that one is, isn't it? And then inside you get your, you get your discs. I don't know why there's two there. Ah, just two special features. So you get your, your Blu-ray film, and then your, your special features. Um, Yeah, that's a portable digital copy. Um, I don't know why I took all that lot out because now I've got to fit them back in again. Like I say, I I I've not, I don't think I've ever ever used um, a digital copy of, of, of any film that I've ever bought. So, but um, I, I, I I prefer to watch them, you know, as they should be as they should be watched on the on the big screen. If you just uh, Bear with me here while I get all this palaver back in here. Right, okay, so that was there's something wrong with that. Not going back in quite properly. Ah, that's better. Right, so they do they do make it difficult to get in some of these uh, some of these editions. And that was the uh, Dark of the Moon. Um Again, it's um, very similar to the last one. Who will that be? I presume that's uh, up to us. I don't know. But, um, so it's, it's, uh, it's the same as the last one I showed you. Um, there again, you get the feature film. Um, there you get it on. 
get it on Blu-ray and DVD so maybe, maybe one of those is the um, is the digital one right so they dropped on the floor we'll get it later so yeah that was I don't, I don't know why they didn't do one of these for the for the first film but I've never managed to find the one um, in a very similar mould you've got the you've got the Watchmen um, I, won't, I won't bother dragging this out of the box because you can see perfectly well um, it's Dr Manhattan and this are inside the same as they were on the others um, one, actually that's um, one of my favourite films like Watchmen excellent film um, likewise Pacific Rim that's, that's a particularly nice um, nice addition I find but that's, that's to say well, I won't bother opening that either that's exactly the same as the, the Transformers and the Terminator I, I showed you um, you can see it, see it quite well through there um, uh, I've, I've just in, included this one. It, it's not it's not a collector's edition as such. It's probably a limited edition. But the only reason the only reason I show you is because um, it's got some it's got some little little art cards in there. And I don't know. I just I just particularly like them. The hat out. And then we come back to the Cheshire, Cheshire Cat. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I love that image of the Cheshire Cat. And as I say, you can have it. Um, you can have it. We'll get it back in the right way. You can you can have whichever one you want in the front there, so you can see it through the through the keyhole. Right. So that is that. Now uh, these these are a couple of the bigger. The bigger sets that I've got. Um, that one you can actually still buy on Zavi and it's dirt cheap. I mean, I, know, I forget. I dread to think what I paid for that. Um, I just bought it on a whim um, because um, I could. I, I mean, it's got it's got the steel book in there. I'll show you. But yeah, Snow White and the Hunts from the first film. I'm not a big fan of the movie, I have to say. But I've just dragged this off of my shelf just to show you that it's part of the set. Um, comes in a little. I'll stop wrecking the joint here. Just, just sits in there. I can't get it to sit in properly, so um, it's going back on the shelf anyway. But I mentioned in 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 I think the top ten um, Blu-ray movie vid I did all many moons ago that that's in my top three of all time. It's a lovely still book that one. Um, even if the film's not much cop um, inside there inside the box you get a large poster which I'm not going to unfold because I won't be able to get it folded back up again um, you get some very, very nice little artwork oh sorry that's um, that's just a Of, couple of uh, images from the film on, on good quality photo stock um, and then you get these very nice pieces of artwork on card um, yes particularly nice those I find I think there's, there's four of them so I'm not going to show you the others one about it This is Evil, Queen Evil, whoever she was. And um, last but not least, you seen that one? I can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, that's the one. And they're on, uh, they're on nice, um, nice quality paper too. And then right down the bottom, we have, uh, I missed those first time round, you actually get four of these, um, four of these on good quality stock, that's the other two, and then uh, the crown and glory, I suppose, is the, 
is the art book or whatever you want to call it um, yeah it's just basically um, I don't know it's concept concept stuff I mean some of it's um, the same as some of the images I've showed you but um, there's, a, there's an example um, there's probably something better in there but that's, that's quite nice. Yeah, so that was um, that was a Snow White and the Huntsman collector's edition. Um, as I say, um, if you if you like that film and you're into this sort of thing, uh, just have a just have a quick look on Zavi and you can you can get this dirt cheap. Um, Takes forever to get back in the box, nevertheless, and it'd be worth it just for that, uh, just for that lovely steel book. So that was that, and then the other one, which I've actually, I've actually showed you this one before when I did the, um, when I did the pickups video. That's the Star Trek in the Darkness uh, limited edition gift set. Um, you get. A model of, um, of the Vengeance um, ship, and also now the good thing about this one is it's uh, the actual steel book. I'm not going to open all this because it's a pig to get back together again. But you can see most of the steel book there. It's um, it's actually the the 3D version of the uh, of the film. So if you if you've got 3D capabilities at home, then that's the one to try and get. Okay, now a couple more here to show you. Of, but, well, this used to belong to me. I actually gave it to my daughter. But um, yeah, this one is another one of those that I picked up very cheaply, um, and it seems to have swollen in price somewhat. Um, I've seen some pretty. Pretty horrible prices for it. I've got a bit of an issue with the box on this one, and I haven't got any strong glue to fix it. But I'll just show you what's in there. You get you get a little model of the of the, of the hover car that you see in a couple of scenes in the film, and then you get this. Um, what is that? No, oh, just a. So a card uh, that goes with the with the model, and then you get um, the essential art of Blade Runner. Um, got to, I wonder why it was upside down, but it's actually got two covers to it. Um, yeah, you've got a lot of lot of scenes from the movie. I mean, this is another movie that. Uh, I particularly like and and the good thing the good thing about this one is it's got the it's got the, or, the original cut of the movie I mean any, any of you any of you that know Blade Runner um, will probably know that, that there were various cuts of this and the, the very first one the cinematic um, the, the cinema, theatrical cut that I saw at the cinema way back in the late 70s early 80s I forget um, I had, had a voiceover from Harrison Ford and that's my favorite version and it's on this one so it's um, it's actually that version's hard to it's hard to come by these days so um, yeah I'm, I'm really glad I picked that uh, that box set up but um, as I say it's um, it has become become rather pricey um, at least the uh, some of the Copies I saw online recently were were a bit rude, to say the least. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, if you're a, if you're a Blade Runner fan, it's um, it's more or less um, essential that one. Right, here's a quirky little uh, little number. Uh, <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. It's a drinking drinking canteen, whatever you call them. Uh, I, I just I just picked that up because it was quirky. 
Um, it, is, it is actually a, let's say, limited, limited collector's edition, so it qualifies um, for what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm not going to open it all up, it's just got a, the film, the Blu-ray inside, but um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Um, here's another one of my favourite films. This is the uh, 30th Anniversary Ultimate Edition. Um, it's got um, it's got one of these nice nice fold outs which I like um, along with a, a poster from the movie which I'm not going to fold out. But um, yeah, that's that. And then you get um, you get a little uh, softback. Um, I, don't, I don't like, don't much like softback art, art art books or, oops, chucking everything on the floor. Um, I suppose they're not art books really. These are they're the scenes from the scenes from the film. I don't know what you would call them, but um, yeah. I mean, this is a film. I was gripped, absolutely gripped when I went to the cinema to see this. Uh, it was around about the same time as. Well, I know I'll probably be a bit earlier than Blade Runner. I'm probably getting mixed up with um, with Indy and the Temple of Doom. That was that was round about the same time as this. I think Blade Runner was maybe a little bit later. But uh, yeah, that's a little collector's edition, as I say, they did for the for the Close Encounters film. Um, yeah, um, Argo. That was that was obviously won the won the Oscar for best film that year. Which, which year it was? I mean, I watched it. It wasn't um, it wasn't a bad film, but I, I know I just didn't see it as Oscar material. But um, I don't know why I'm having trouble getting it out, but I am stuck on something there. I'll figure it out. Yeah, maybe not. Ah, right, there we go. Okay, so you get the you get the extended edition of the movie, and then uh, this looks like a looks like one of those with with a load of gump inside. Um, have a quick look. Yeah, what do you get? Um, that looks like an advert for. Oh, weirdly, 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 it's a poster for. For Argo, well, we might as well Let's have a look at it while we're here, won't we? Um, I think, yeah, yeah. Remembering the film, that was the that was the movie that they shot, wasn't it, to try and um, try and fool everybody into thinking that they were um, movie people rather than spies or terrorists, uh, hunters or whatever. Um, that's, uh, that's a little poster that you get with it also, and that's another one of these uh, books with all um, scenes from the from the movie, um, usual sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was that was that was that was quite cheap. So to say, it's not a, not a movie that I go I go ape over, but um, at the price, I thought why well, not. Why not? I'm not going to even attempt to get that back in the box because that was a pain to get out and it'll probably be as equally a pain to get back in. Okay, now, um, that's that. I'm moving on now to stuff that my daughter's lent me. Um, just to pad the video out a little bit. Um, right, that's the, um, that's the Hobbit 3D box set. Um with it what makes it sort of like limited or a collector's edition is you get this i've had the foresight to pull it out of its folder because it's a pig to get out you get this little um blank notebook with it but uh it's it's it's, it's obviously faux faux leather but um it's it's quite a nice little little object to have um so it goes into this thing here it's a bucket to get out. So yeah, that was that one. Uh, right, what do we have? I'm not. 
because these are not mine, I'm not absolutely certain exactly what uh, what you do get with these. But yeah, this is the Dark the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, I've got discs falling all over the place here. Unfortunately, some of these boxes are not very very good when it comes to keeping the discs in. Um, yeah, just um, just your normal fold out type of jobby uh, with all the with all the movies in. Um, but what makes it um, a special edition is you get a. Oh, this one's in colour. Yeah, you get um, you get scenes from the movies with stuff, production stuff. Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, so that's what makes that one a little bit um, a bit different to normal. On back in. Right now, this this is uh, the Hellraiser, the first three movies. Um, some people say the only three worth watching. I, I wouldn't know because. I'm not, I'm not a big uh, Hellraiser fan, but um, this sold out. This sold out on pre-order and became quite expensive very quickly. Um, uh, that's, that must be the that must be the thing that goes round it, you know, things that get on your nerves. Uh, but inside, you get you get a box with that on the back. And then there's um, ooh, a very nice book, hardback book. Uh, it says here press kits and what have you. They, they must have collected a load of stuff and um, just slammed it all into this hardback. It's very, very heavy and uh, it's more informative than, than artistic, but... Um, it's very, very heavy. And then what do we have in here? We have some paraphernalia, um, some cards. Must have been chap. See the resemblance? Uh, well, it looked like Spock on a bad day, didn't it, that one? Uh, don't know about her. Oh, but I'll pin it himself, man himself, and then we have a little sort of like art pamphlet. Um, we've done some drawings. I don't know if that's a comic book or something. Maybe, maybe scenes from the comic book they did, and it looks like um, that looks like a poster, which I'm not going to unravel because I know it's going to be a, a pester. Re-ravel, if that's such a word. Um, so that's that, and then we have uh, that looks like um, extras. Then we have movies. Yeah, so uh, I mean that's uh, anybody that um, anybody that likes Hellraiser. That's, um, that's a particularly nice and extensive box set. As I say, it's um, it's not an easy one to get hold of these days. Okay, now we're back to we're back to Harry again. Um, this is oh, that's very nice. I'll show you that. Hmm, that is very nice. And then inside we have all the movies. Here's one to five and 
six to seven, I presume they're these fold out jobbies, yep. And then what makes this interesting is you have another book. Ah, right. Um, this is actually um, a numbered limited edition, so there's your, there's your little plaque telling you what number of how many that is. And there is actually 19 discs in there. And it says a collectible photo album, which is this little job that I've got here. Well, it's very nice as well. It's actually um, it's actually set out as a whoops, actually set out as a photo album. If you can see that. So yeah, that's a nice little uh, a nice little set. I'll just log that back in there. Yeah, that's um, for, for Harry Potter freaks. That's um, that's a very nice little little full set. Um, right now, rid of that one. Right now we come to the, the last couple. That's um, that's the Inception metal case. I know they did, they did a similar sort of thing with with Blade Runner. You could buy a, a carrying case with uh, with various editions of the film in. I'll just um, just get this open. Um, you can see it's so your film goes up in the top there. You get the don't know. I don't know if that came with a. I don't know if the originally it came with a lenticular cover or whether that's something that I've added later on. But um, what you do get, if I can get it out here, is the. Those of you who've seen the film will know the significance of the, the spinner. To tell whether you're in the real world or. The dream world or whatever. Um, yeah, what have we got inside here? We've got um, an instruction manual for the case. That's obviously the case in the in the film, not the one I'm showing you here. Uh, so that's that one, and then we've got a few. Oops. Where am that one supposed to go? Your art cards. And finally, it's the scene from the, the box. So yeah, that's that. That's quite an interesting little um, little set. Just get that back in there. As I say, I'd like, I would really like to get hold of the one they did for for um, for Blade Runner, but I think that one might need a remortgage of your house. Um, I think it's become quite expensive, sadly, as these things do. Now, last but not least, um, so I've never seen this film. It doesn't belong to me, so I've absolutely no idea what um, what this one's all about. The Iron Giant. Let's have a little look. Find that out. Oh, right. At least we found out how it opens. Right, so what do we have? Um, some little certificate there, uh, which talks about the film, just how it was, how it came to be, and then uh, we have a, a hardback book with stuff from the film. Then we have something that's stuck down. I think that'll probably be, be some uh, large cards, but it's not not been unsealed. Let's have a look. No, it's not been unsealed. So 
I won't take the liberty of unsealing it and then of course the essential copy of the film and we have I think that's um I mean that's a little model of the iron giant that you that's unmade. But um, it's just a little kit that you make up yourself. So that's the iron giant and that's that's about all I have to show you folks. Okay, well, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what's up next time, but I'll try and make it as interesting as possible. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.